some users of Samsung Galaxy phones and tablets have reported a slowdown in performance after installing the latest software update in the event that your Samsung Galaxy phone or tablet seems to be running more slowly, or if it keeps lagging than usual after an update, you will need to do some troubleshooting in order to determine the root cause. Check out these solutions and see which of them will help. Samsung smartphones rely on a curated collection of temporary files known as system cache to power their applications with lightning speed. The cache partition of your internal storage device is where you'll find these files. Issues might arise when the system cache becomes corrupted. As a consequence of a big software upgrade, you can refresh the cache partition with these steps. Turn off your Samsung device. Press and hold the volume up key and the Bixby power key if your Samsung device has the home button. Make sure that you press and hold volume up home and power buttons together. Continue pressing and holding the buttons until the recovery mode screen comes up. Once the Android recovery screen comes up, you can let go of the buttons. Use the volume down button to highlight white cache partition. Press the power button to select white cache partition. Use volume down button to highlight yes. Press the power button to confirm yes. Wait for a few moments as the system wipes the cache. Press the power button to reboot the device. This will return the device to the normal interface. Experiencing an increase in temperature and a decrease in performance on your Samsung smartphone or tablet? If you answered yes, it's probably overheated. Overheating and general slowness are often symptoms of the same underlying software or hardware issue, respectively, if a gadget is both slow and hot. A factory reset is your best bet for fixing it. If the overheating problem continues after a factory reset, though, faulty hardware is likely to be to blame. Keeping your applications and software up to date is a simple method to avoid bugs and, in some cases, address already identified issues. Verify that you're using the most up-to-date versions of your applications by going to the Google Play Store on a regular basis. Make sure you know how to update applications from their official developer or sources if you've obtained them from somewhere other than the Play Store. There have been reports of issues with specific Samsung devices and applications that were poorly developed. Safe Mode is a diagnostic tool that may be used to see whether an app installation is the cause of your Samsung device's slowdown. The Safe Mode setting prevents any unofficial software from being launched. This restricts access to the system so that only the factory installed programs may be used. If your Samsung's performance returns to normal without any latency when you go to safe mode, one of your installed third-party applications is likely to blame. Follow these steps to reboot your device to safe mode. Press and hold the power button until the power off window appears then release. Touch and hold power off until the safe mode prompt appears then release. To confirm, tap safe mode. The process may take up to 30 seconds to complete. Upon reboot, safe mode appears in the lower left of the home screen. Keep in mind that while in this mode, you can only utilize the apps that came with your device. If the touchscreen problem persists in safe mode, it's likely caused by a malicious program. Try uninstalling the most recent program you downloaded to see if it helps. None of the aforementioned solutions work. You may need to do a factory reset on your device. Performing a factory reset, often called a master reset, is a quick and easy method to restore all of your software settings to their tested defaults. Make sure you have a copy of your important data and files backed up first. Open Settings app. Scroll to and tap General Management. Tap Reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap reset to continue. Tap delete all to confirm action. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.